Um, hi. Now, I realise this is uh, not your average sort of collection video, but this has not been my average car collection, at least I've never done it this way. Let me give you a bit of a backdrop. So first of all, Cole is not here, so it's literally just me on my little Canon G7X and I'm gonna, you know, walk you around the car. Archie's gonna come with me, we're just gonna take, we've got one GoPro, one camera, really simple setup, but this is gonna be a really raw, uh, impression for my new car. Now you've seen the car, you've already seen photos, you've seen footage of it, so it's no big surprise. But because it was second hand, effectively what happened is the owner of the car just drove it down to me here, dropped it off, we did all the paperwork, etc. And I've literally picked my car up on the side of the road, uh, very close to my house. So this is awesome, awesome stuff. Here it is. This is my brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus. I am so pumped. <laughs> Here it is. Um, now, obviously, it, w it was driven here. It's not, you know, like spotless, spotless, but it's pretty clean. The owner is a top, top chap, so it's been really, really uh, a pleasure to, to deal with him. And this is the new car. As you can tell, it is a facelift, so it's got the new lights front and back. It is also a V10 Plus, so it's got carbon fiber, little front splitter right there. Um, it's got the V10 Plus wheels, carbon ceramic brakes. What else? I mean, carbon on the mirrors right here. This beautiful gray color, they're actually quite rare in this color. I think it looks great. And I'm usually not a massive fan of silver wheels, but for some reason, I think it really works, especially in, in like person in real life. Now it's got, of course, the carbon side blades, which are slightly larger because it is a V10. It's got a full carbon fiber engine bay on the V10 Plus, so naturally aspirated V10, and carbon fiber on the diffuser, the black exhaust tips, and obviously these really cool also indicators, you see that sort of slide like that. I am in love with this car, really, really like it, and it, oh, it just feels so surreal. I think you can never really get used to the feeling of like a collection of a new car. It's just the greatest feeling, and I just feel incredibly, incredibly fortunate. Now, where things actually get really special with this one is inside. Now, first of all, it's got all of the, um, all of the options, so it's got full carbon, it's got Bang & O, full leather, etc. But it's got this manual gearbox, which on the V10 Plus is very rare. So to give you an idea, there's only seven in the UK that we know of. That's been checked with Audi. Uh, and, you know, obviously maybe one or two have been crashed or something. So very, very few of them in the UK. Right hand drive. So really, really special. And I feel very honored to, to have this. To have a naturally aspirated V10 coupled to a manual gearbox is very special so <laughs> it's a new car day guys and now i'm gonna hop in archie's here as i said so we're just gonna take one gopro one camera and this is gonna be my collection day slash first drive all in one might as well i just want to experience the car and bring you guys along hi archie hello are we on the english channel we're on whichever one you want to be how do these seats oh it's electric seats you didn't even know that <laughs> boom hmm Fantastic! <laughs> we're on. Actually, look at this. Bang! Very, very nice. Bang! Go easy on that damp patch down there, lad. Oh. Go easy on that. <laughs> Listen, we literally we've just been driving a tiny bit. I kind of just wanted to focus on the road and get used to the car for the first like couple hundred yards. Now, now I can talk to you guys a bit. We're on a dual carriageway. Oh, it's a it's an amazing feeling. But it's also very stressful, isn't it, when you drive your new car for the first time? Yeah, I, I usually have a headache. Yeah, you need, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need to get used to it because like, I've, I've never driven- Left lane, please. Uh, all right. I've never driven um, V10 Plus before, never driven an R8 of this generation. Did you never drive my one? No, no. Maybe, maybe you didn't. Never driven a manual V10, never driven a manual R8. So basically this is all completely brand new. Okay, okay that, yeah. that, that, we're that not in France green. anymore. That means green. <laughs> <laughs> but 
yeah, I mean, this is nuts. And I can tell that it's a supercar and V10 naturally aspirated supercar. You know why, Arch? Because look, I've already got the fuel light on. That didn't last very long, did it? No, I mean, that lasted about five minutes. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Naturally aspirated V10. But if you do buy a supercar, which this is a supercar, yeah. you uh, are... Yeah, part of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Part you prepare it. yourself. It could do with some exhaust improvements. Now, I did a video oh, about this. I can help this. you. Yeah, <laughs> you know someone. No, generally I can. Okay, perfect. Well, I mean, I made a video about it, and the oh, audience... I know, I know who you need to talk to. Who? Quicksilver. Yeah, they do, they do yeah. Uh, exhaust, yeah. Give them a ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Quicksilver, Capristo, Marini... Uh, left in here. Pam Speed. We're going to go into the petrol station. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Archie. Straight away. Hey, Seb, you've just rinsed your bank account, but rinse it some more. You actually have rinsed your bank account, too. Which is brilliant. But it is a very nice car. I like, I like it. This gearbox, listen to this. I mean, that is the best bit of the whole lot. Well, it's now, not. what side is the thing on? Oh, that's what we don't know. It's your side. Is it? Well, I can't see anything out my window. I can't see anything out my window. Oh, right, well, that's good, isn't it? Wait, 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 bear with me. Yeah, it's my side. All oh, right, well, what, there's no point going that way then, is it? Well, no, diesel. Oh, oh right, no, no, we've got a petrol station there. Oh, we've got, yep, yeah, keep going. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I don't know, know what I'm talking about. There we go. The clutch is Get some quite diesel nice. in her. Get some diesel in her. How's it going to reverse? Okay. We're learning everything, Archie. That was cool what you did there. What? Uh, to go down into into yeah, reverse. Yeah, and, and, then, and then it was just a. That's chaos. <laughs> Right, already filling up. How big do you think the tank is? How many liters? No idea. Right, are you brimming it or what? Yeah. Oh. How do you open the fuel filler cap? <laughs> right, it might be down here. Hang on. Down where? No, it's not. Where are you going? Um, oh, there we go. Ah, supreme unleaded. Fingers crossed. Fingers. Oh. That. Oh, you're just making noises. 20 minutes later. I think I'm literally going to be here for the rest of my life. 100 pounds? Oh. And it won't let me go any further. Literally, almost exactly 100 pounds. Shit. Right, we just stopped quickly with Arch Woo. to look at the car from the outside again because it feels so surreal. One thing I want to show you, I want to show you the engine bay. Okay. Because I've got a full carbon engine bay. The only thing is we need to figure out how the hell it opens. Oh, no, 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 I think it's on here. It's on here? Uh, no, no, that's the that's the boot. No, then I don't know. No, sometimes on right-hand drive cars, sometimes it's in the passenger side. Um, is it here? Um, <laughs> you don't know where it is. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> I mean, I know you can open it, so it's somewhere. Is it? I'm sure it's somewhere, yeah. Not a clue. Oh, found it. I think the key needs to be in. All right. Yeah. Now we're in. Look at this. Carbon fiber. Carbon baby. fiber everywhere. V10 plus, and it's got lights as well, so it's illuminated. But it's a beautiful engine bay. Naturally, naturally, sorry, aspirated 5.2 liter V10, 550 horsepower. Pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? It does need an exhaust, but yeah, I love the glass as well. And it's quite a heavy en engine bay. Look, try and. Feel, feel how heavy that is. Someone's doing donuts, Someone's doing donuts over there. Yeah. Feel how heavy this is. That's really heavy. Yeah, it's not carbon up there. It's but yeah, really things. nice. Boom, there we go. Anyways, now let's hop in and let's drive this car. There are a few little country roads here. New car day, you have to make the most of it. Is it rolling, Archie? Rolling. Down into second. Down in the gate. It takes some getting used to the gated gearbox, but it's quick, isn't it? It is very fast. 550 horsepower. Yeah, please Four turn, wheel please, drive. Please turn right. Oh, yeah. I, think it, oh, I think it's right anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it was right. Four wheel there. drive. Four wheel drive means it actually puts the power down really nicely. Yeah. The clutch is quite light. Really yeah. nice. So it feels very usable. You know, it doesn't feel like a really hardcore supercar. Yeah. Um, which is really, really pleasant. And, oh God, that gearbox is just amazing. The noise. It's the noise great. that it makes, I think. That's the biggest difference of it. Yeah. Is uh, the noise out of the gearbox Because if it was just a normal manual, 
Yeah. It wouldn't be as exciting. But the fact that it's a gated manual linked to a... Uh, and it's just cool. Yeah. No, I like it a lot. And I love the colour on the exterior. And to drive, it's really nice. The carbon ceramics for them being sort of early carbon ceramics are quite grabby when you brake. I mean, they're very effective. Yeah. They work really well. But they are quite grabby. Um, so that takes a bit of getting used to as well. The steering wheel is really nice. It's got these nice little holes for your thumb, so it's actually really comfortable. Little things like that are key. Yeah. You can't yeah, go wrong with where you Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. And the, and the power delivery of the V10 is really nice. It's really linear, really smooth. But you can feel that you need to rev it out to really get the, you know, the maximum amount of power out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does drink. It, it, it likes to drink fuel, doesn't it? I mean, we're in an R8. It's not like the old R8 where, obviously, my old V10 Plus, when you put the car into comfort mode, it shuts off half the, half the engine. Yeah, this does not do that. Well, not, but it's maybe part not of the half game. the engine, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, would, um, it was much more much more fuel, fuel efficient. efficient. Oh, and we stuck mine a tractor. Um, but yeah, it's it's an amazing place to be as well. And it's I, comfy. It's really, really... You know what? I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Because sometimes of older cars, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. There's something about this which is like quite special. Well, thank you very much. No, and, and no, if, I you do bought, think if you the... bought a bad car, I'll tell you. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> a good friend would tell you. Yeah, uh, but they, you knew straight away, and I was actually there when you bought it, and I kind of yeah. knew straight away that it was the guy actually who you bought it from. Yeah. Was such a nice car. The previous owner. Such a nice guy. Like, really cared for the car. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest differences is that. When someone is like he was letting his like kid go. Yeah, no, he was really into it, and that makes the whole experience so much nicer. And then sharing it with a mate as well is is really nice. So no, I'm super, super excited and almost emotional. Ooh. No, keep going. That's a dead pheasant. It is a dead pheasant. Yeah, but you know, calm front splitter. You need to be a little bit careful. <laughs> um, but no, this feels surreal because I've been waiting, obviously, to have. A supercar because the other cars I had were really nice sports cars, but this kind of feels like the first supercar V10 yeah. mid engined, um, and it's a very surreal moment. You know, it feels like a long yeah. time coming, and I'm, I'm just really, really excited. It handles really nicely, the front end is quite communicative, and ah, oh, I like, and you can drift these because they give quite a lot of power to the rear. You can tell Paul Wallace that. I will tell he'll, Paul Wallace he'll be that. keen on that. He actually was very close to buying one of these at one point as well. Um, the first gen non-facelift V10 manual. But, ah, oh, I love Go it. Go easy on these slippery roads, lad. Yeah. Bit of understeer might come in. Yeah. <laughs> once you, um, once this has like slightly reworked interior, exhaust, wheels, maybe a wrap. Ah. Oh, it's the dream. I, I am so happy. I'm over the moon. I can't believe it. Mate, it's properly cool. It's got good, Christ, it's got good turning circle. Well, that's what you need, mate. That is exactly what you need. Really nice. Oh, I am excited. I am very excited. I think what I'm going to do now, honestly, is probably... Oh, there was a pothole. Yeah. I'm probably going to switch the camera off. We're going to film a bit for your video. And I can... And enjoy it. I just want to enjoy it. Yeah, sometimes when the camera's always on, you're like... Yeah. You want to actually enjoy... You obviously want to enjoy it uh, left. Yeah. Uh, you also want to enjoy it with your subscribers, but you also want to you can, take that yeah. personal time to realise what you've achieved and what you bought. So, no, you... I'm really excited. Fantastic. Let's end it with a little acceleration. Oh, it's so sick. Oh, yes. Right, we'll catch up with you guys when we're back home. When we're home, switch her off. We're back. We're back. We're back. You know, we actually put this in your video, but we struggled to find the sound system for the car. So I press this button here. Look, this pops out. DVD player and the sort of double SIM card little slot there. I looked here for the USB. This is for smoking down there, so it's not there. Nothing in the glove box. Nothing here. But then, eventually, boom. Found it there. That's the cable to connect your phone. So these are the types of things you learn on your your first day with the car, isn't it? Yep. Um, yeah, really good Bang & Olufsen sound system is really good. But anyways, we're home. I know this was like a sort of very simple video, just GoPro, Archie and I, and a camera, but we've had a great time. It's a surreal moment for me. I really, really enjoyed today. 
And uh, yeah, just thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Archie's also made a video if you want to check his channel out. I've made one on the French channel if you want to learn French. If you can speak French, I'm learning as we go. Bon. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like the car. Give a thumbs up if you like the car. I'm over the moon with it. Can't believe it. I'm still kind of in shock. But yeah, thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. That's what they say, shit, I'm on a road.